Hello and welcome to the CS Card video tutorial. My name is Alex, and in this video we're going to learn how to work with customer accounts and make the most out of the user groups functionality. Let's begin. To manage customers, we go to Customers, Customers. This page looks almost exactly like the one for administrators. The only difference is that a small gear button has plenty of options. You can view customers' orders or act on behalf of a customer from the storefront. This feature comes in handy when customers wants to buy something but doesn't have an access to the store. So, an administrator can do it for them. And the last one, view reward points on a separate page. Now let's take a look at the customer's settings. Here we have email and password that are used to log into the store. You can change account type to turn your customer into administrator, exempt a customer from taxes and set a default language for them. After that, there are personal details specified by customers during registration process or later on a profile page. These details are regulated by the Profile Fields page in the Administration section. Here you can select which fields must be displayed at the Profile page and at the checkout. Some of them can be made required for filling out. Returning to the Customers page. Before we proceed to the next step, we remind you that billing and shipping addresses may differ from each other. Just move the radio button to fill them separately. Add-ons tab contains all add-ons that influence customer's profile. For example, we have the age verification add-on enabled, which activates the birthday field for our customers. And finally, we switch to the user groups tab. This feature is used to distribute privileges among customers. For now, we have only one group of a customer type here, the wholesale group. This group provides privileges to those who buy products in batches. We can add customer to it by simply clicking the gear button and selecting active. Don't forget to notify customer about these changes. Let's go to the user groups page and create new groups for customers. Click the plus button and in the pop-up window specify the name, VIP for example, and the type customer now case and click create to finish the process. You can also make this group hidden. This way the group won't be displayed at the user groups tab on a profile page on the storefront. So you can assign it only to the chosen customers. What privileges can be provided to members of user groups? First of all, it is the access to certain products. You can tweak the availability of each product at the general tab of the product details page. Second, quantity discounts that can also be set on the product details page. For example, the price will be decreased for those who buy 5 or more products and assigned to the wholesale group, or just make a discount for VIPs. Third, you can apply promotions to certain user groups. For example, you can create a 10% discount for group members only. In this case, the only condition required is to be a member of a certain user group. The discount will be applied automatically to all purchases. And fourth, availability of certain pages in the store. If you proceed to the page settings, you'll see the similar availability section. This way you can disclose certain information only for selected groups of customers. Managing user groups is a good way to raise both sales and loyalty of your customers. Thanks for watching and see you in the next CSCART videos.